During the session, Gaina is going to walk you through Boost. Um, she's going to go through ebooks, big books, amongst other things. She's going to talk through some of our new and improved features and functionalities involving things like ebook allocation and reporting. And we will do a QA at the end. If whilst Gaina and I are talking, you think of questions, feel free to pop them into the chat and we will um, deal with everything at the end. Um, or equally, if you want to wait until the end and then come off mute and then ask a question, that's absolutely fine. We are recording the session and we will send around a recording after the webinar today. And I think that's all the housekeeping. So just a few little bits and pieces. So to give you the introduction, so what is Boost? So Boost is basically our new online uh, learning platform. And it's replacing our current, oh, sorry, our now old platform our my, called My Rising Stars. And I know some schools are still using My Rising Stars or flipping between My Rising Stars and Boost. Um, but what we are, our message is really that as soon as possible, we advise schools to start using Boost because by the end of this month, My Rising Stars will be no more. So the quicker you can sort of get up and running on Boost, the better. So your subscription will now be accessed at boost-learning.com. Um, you still use the same login details as you used before. And in case you have any of our other um, online products, so just to say that Rocket Chronics isn't the only product of ours that's now on Boost. So we have a whole load of different products on there. We have Reading Planet Online, Spelling, Rising Stars Geography, History, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and you may subscribe to some of those other products as well. So I think we should crack on because there's a lot to go through. So I'm going to now pass on to Gaina. Hi, everyone. Um, just bear with me and I will just start sharing my screen. OK, can you all see my Boost login screen? Okay, so as um, Alex said, boost-learning.com is replacing your my.risingstars, but you will use the same login that you had for my.risingstars, the so same um, email address and password. So from here, you click the login. To sign into the platform. Okay, and this is your, your home page, your dashboard. Just to say, um, when the resource first published, some people saying oh, it looked quite big or they couldn't see much. So three dots here in the top left-hand corner, you can zoom um, in and out. Sorry. Sorry, I'll just pop off. Um, you can zoom in and out here, um, you know, which suits you. You can have it larger, you can have it smaller. I like it quite small. So we have a side menu here. So if you just press the, the three um, lines, that will open up for you. That's another way of navigating, or you can navigate from here. Or just want to run through with you, top right-hand corner, you've got notifications. With Rocket Phonics, you won't receive any notifications. Some of our resources, teachers have to actually mark some of the knowledge test um, answers, um, but you won't have to do that. Um, you can access your account here. So if you need to update any of your details, change your password, you can do that in there. You've got a link to the admin hub. So that's where you manage your users, both teachers and pupils. And your access coordinator is able to give access um, to teachers and pupils as needed. So when your resource moves over to Boost, all of your data will be in the admin hub. But your access coordinator will just need to share the Boost platform with teachers and pupils as required, and then you're good to go. And then the final button is a help. And if you click on that, it takes you to um, IT support help desk. There's lots of information now about Boost, so lots there to support you. What is Boost, managing your users. You've got a whole section on Reading Planet and Rocket Phonics. I'm sure you'll all find really useful. There's um, sort of little walkthrough videos on a lot of these as well. Frequently asked questions. And then back up to the top, if you click on the contact digital support, you've got a real IT issue. 
um, please just contact them direct through that form. So back onto the Blue dashboard. So on the side menu, you've got your courses, you've got your course plans, you've got lessons, ebooks refer to our secondary um, schools. So your e reading books and reading plan, it don't sit there, they actually sit in the actual resource. Knowledge tests, which I will come on to, your reports, and also my sharing history, which I will come on to later as well. So to locate your resources, if you just click on open a course. So at the top, it shows your favourite courses. So I've favourited these, which I do from down here. And subscribe courses is everything that, say, my school has um, purchased, has access to. So to favourite them, you just click the star and it will move it up to the top for you. So every time you log in, it's sitting there ready to go. You can filter here by subject. So if there's a resource and you couldn't see it, so just click on that and you can filter, say for example, English. You can also filter by level. So that's age range. So sort of deception key stage one, you would click three to five, etc. And then exam board, again, is for our secondary um, schools. can change the view here. You can view all courses. Um, so I've got just sort of it flicking through, um, but view all courses, and it will show absolutely everything that the school subscribes to. So on each course card, so we've got the favourite button, which I've explained. If you click on that down here, it will move it up to the top for you. You've also got the three dots, which is your um, share button. So you can share a whole resource from here. And also you've got your subscription information. Um, Gaynor, sorry, it's Alex, I'm just going to interrupt you for one second. Your sound is quite um, echoey. Um, we can hear you, but it's just echoing. And I just wanted to check, do you have like another device next to your laptop? We're trying to work out where the echo is coming from. There is in another room. <laughs> oh. it's, it is. It's like it's echoing back. We we can hear you. It's just, yeah, there's a bit of an echo. So we were just trying to work out where the echo might be coming from. I don't know where I can, <laughs> I don't know what I can do about that. Don't worry, carry on. I don't, I, you're, you're in the flow, but I just thought of check if there's a, a simple solution. As I say, we can hear you. Um, sorry, carry on. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't worry. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, okay. Well, hopefully it doesn't put you all off. <laughs> okay. So today, then we're going to go into uh, Rocket Phonics. So we just click onto the icon, and then you have these four tabs here. So we've got content, resource list, favorites, and my resources. So content, as you probably, some of you have discovered, it's very much giving you just an overview of what exactly is in the program. So you can see you've got the nice colorful icons um, and you've got your teacher guides, CPD, et cetera. Then if you click on the contents list, it goes into more detail and you can flick into these. So for example, if I do freezes and posters, I can just have a quick glance and see what freezes and posters I've got there. So this content is a very much overview and a view only. To actually open your resources, just click on to resource list. And then you can still open up your content list and if I just move this to the top and go all topics, everything is there, but then I can go down here and jump to what I want to go to. So that's all my general resources. Within Rocket Phonics as well, you do have course plans, which they, they sit there. You've also got lessons are the lessons that you may have created by using various resources. And also you have got a report tab there. So on each of the um, icons for the resources, you've got the three lines. So clicking on there, now I can download that from here. Um, now I would recommend doing that. So if we download that, it opens up here, 
opens in a new window for me and then I can print that from here. So I can choose sort of certain pages or print the whole thing. So that's how you would print any item. Again, we can favourite items. So I favorited the teacher guide. So when I click into favorites here, that's where the teacher guide will be sat for me. And that's personal to you. So each teacher can personalize their, their favorites. And then also you've got the share option here. So if I wanted to share the introduction of the teacher notes, I'll just click on there, click share, and then I can share that within Boost or I can share it with tip through Teams, generate a web link, et cetera. Okay, and that's for any, obviously, of the, um, the documents. So a few things that I wanted to go into today is, um, first of all, the big books. Okay, so again, you've got that option. You can favourite a big book, so it's sitting over here. You can share a big book with a colleague, um, and then just to open it, just click on the big book, and it launches in a separate window for you. So just a bit of a, a tour around um, this sort of window. So if you wanted to lose that top menu, you can just click on there and have a full window view or to exit on there. You can have it viewed as single page or double page. You can zoom in or out. Um, you've also got, uh, you've also here got your markup tool. So if you click on that, and then that opens, I can have that on the right or I can move it over to the left. And that's where you've got your pencil, your pen, your highlighter, your rubber, your um, text boxes. And then to use any of these, just click on the one that you want. Click on the size, I can change the colour. And then you just squiggle it on here, a lot neater than me. And then to delete that, just click the rubber and the bin. Okay, we will just come out of there. So just close up your markup mode. And then also we've got audio. The on. aliens zoomed up, up and away at top speed. So just so I can move this around. So if it pops up in a, you know, not a suitable place, you can move this around the screen. You can also see your volume here and then just to shut that down. Okay. Obviously your, your little icons still work as well. Sit. Okay. Eh. So that's a quick tour around a big book. As I say, if you've got any questions on any particular resources, if you add them into the chat or ask them at the end. So I'm going to go back to Teach Guide. And then I've got all my daily lesson plans here. So to open that, I'll just click on there. Can make this full window. Okay, again, I can zoom in or out. If I want it to fit the page. I want it full size. And then if I wanted to print these off, just click on the three lines on the icon, click download. There's my lesson plans. And then I can print either the whole lot or a particular page that, you know, I would just want a particular lesson. So you just go print. And then you've got here, you've got a choice. You can pick the pages that, you know, you want to print. And that would be the same. So click in, go into the icon of the resource, click the three lines, um, and then to print that. And again, I might think, oh, okay, I would like, I'm looking at these every day, so I'm going to add those to my favourites as well. So then that will move up here. Okay, the next thing I'd like to go into is um, a reading book. So this has opened up 
for all the target practice readers, but I think I just want to have a look at Pink A books. So I've just got Pink A on there. I can change the view. I can make it as a list, or I can have it as a grid, whichever you prefer. Again, I can favourite a book. So this book, Ants, is sitting in my favourites, ready for my lesson. Clicking on the three dots is where I will share the book. So if I want to share um, one book, I click on the book share link. If, say, for example, I wanted to share all of the target practice readers, I actually go to the share button at the top in the dark blue. Or if I just want to share all the Pink A books with my class, I can just click on there. We would click share in Boost. I can make it available from a particular date and I can set a due date that I want my pupils to read that book and then click next and then here this is where it's pulling the data from your admin hub so I can find um, a particular student, um, I can look for a particular group or a class. So say reception class, I would tick that, click done and then that book is allocated. And it would be the same process whether it was the whole band of books or just a single book. So to open an actual book, you just click on the icon and it will open in a new window, like the big book. I'm just going to click back onto here while we're waiting for that to um, open. You've also got, I don't know if you've noticed, you've actually got um, target practice reader teaching notes as well. So every target practice reader has got accompanying notes. So to support uh, guided reading, independent reading, um, and every book has a, a worksheet. So that's for the target practice readers and also the um, additional pocket phonics books as well. And in your teacher guides, so you've got your overall teacher guide one, which is your reception. The teacher guide two is your year one teacher guide. And then here you've actually got the additional Rocket Phonics Reader teacher guide, which is a new addition. Um, and this is where you've got information about the new band assessments, which have been added as well. So the new band assessments sit in their own area here. So at the moment, they're available from pink A through to blue, and green and orange will be added very soon. So these band assessment quizzes are to support your children um, to see whether they're ready to move to the next colour band. And you would allocate these digitally again, so through the three dots, OK, click on share and then when the child logs into their, their own Boost platform, um, they will be able to see the band assessment quiz and they can complete that uh, very similar to um, an end of book quiz. So I'm going to click back onto the uh, reading book. OK, so as I showed you on the big books, you've got the same functionality. So you've got your audio here and the headphones. The ants go in to nap. Tap, tap, tap. The ants go. And when it reads um, a target practice reader or an additional Rocket Phonics book, you've still got that functionality that it highlights as it reads. You can actually, on the target practice readers and um, uh, Rocket Phonics books, you can use the hand icon. So if you start this where I want the um, audio to start, Okay. Ants go in to nap. 
Tap, tap, tap. So it will start reading from where I've put the icon. Um, you can control your volume from here. You can move this around as well. Or you can close it. Your teach toolkit, your markup tool is here as well. So as I showed before. And then as you click through the reading book, you've got your green bubble that pops up. So that will, clicking on that will launch your end of book quiz. Okay. I'm just open a pink a, um, quiz for you, just so you can see how this looks. Again, you can see I've opened this here. Um, if I just want to share, obviously, this with a child or somebody's come to me and, you know, I haven't shared it with a particular group or child, you can as well share it from here. So just click on the share, same process again, clicking through Boost and finding your child or your class. And then you just click the Start button to go through. Again, the um, assessment quizzes do have audio on. Um, so... I think, I'm sort of, I think they're quite self-explanatory, so I'll sort of leave you to, to have a play with those. So I'm going to go back to the main platform. So what I want to quickly run through with you now, okay, for time, is um, a few reports that you can start accessing now through um, for Rocket Phonics. So the way to access your reports, you can open that. Um, is click on the reports icon in the side menu. So you can see we have a suite of reports. Some of these are to support other resources that sit within Boost. So the main ones um, that you will use is your Reading Planet title allocation report. That's, you know, when you're given sharing your books. The um, knowledge test results report. So that will generate... Um, data when the children have completed the end of band assessment tasks, quizzes, and also reports history is quite useful. So you can see there, it will save all the reports that you've run um, and you can go through and manage those when you want to delete them or you can download them from there. So I think the most popular one will be the Reading Planet title allocation report. So this shows if books are allocated, if they've been completed, what the quiz results were, and also um, if any books are, are overdue. So, of course, we populate this with Reading Planet Rocket Phonics. And then I'm going to run a report today, and I want to have a look at Red A Books. And then I will just find my group. And then just click generate. Okay. So I'll see what report I've, I've run here. You can click here and you can change the group. Um, you can turn your heat map, map off here. You can put it on. So this is showing then the, for this small group, um, all the books that have been allocated to them. So here, so say, for example, Jack's Fox. So that book has only been allocated to two of the pupils. If I now decide um, that I want to allocate it to the rest of the class or I just want to allocate it to um, Charlie, I would click here and whole class, I would click at the top. And again, to show you, you just click through the boost screens as before when, when sharing. And I think you'll become dab hands at this. Um, and then if it's just Charlie, you would just click on there and again with boost and again i can do this at, um when i want it to be available from um and also set a date look charlie okay that's ticked and then just done and then it will have access to that So with some of these books, you can see when a due date has been put in, um, gives you again highlighted. So 
that's Marks has done, um, and you can see the score they got on the quiz. On this one for Bethany, Bethany Davies, so the book's been read, that's been Marks has done, but it doesn't look as though she's completed the quiz. Again, that one's done. So here we've got two overdue, so straight away you can see that hasn't been completed, so they haven't read the book or completed the quiz. And also you've got sort of a traffic light system, um, so you can sort of, yeah, get sort of a kind of a, a gap analysis or how that child's getting on uh, with that book. And what I can also do, I can click in to an individual here. Okay, I want to look at a particular student. And as I click across here, I can see, okay, so Bethany's got some more books that have been allocated, um, not completed. So I know this is useful with my Rising Stars, we were asked about a report that you could just see what they'd been allocated, what they hadn't, what they completed and, and what they hadn't. Um, so overall, I think you will find this quite useful. Again, from here, we can favourite the report, okay, and then that will sit in your your reports that you've generated, which is another option of the reporting. So I'm just going to show you now um, a knowledge test report. So this is where your ends, you can sort of um, run a report against the end of band assessments not the reading book quizzes, just the end of colour band assessments. So you would look for your course. So reading planet electronics. Okay, you can say that you can um, generate this over a certain period of time, so it could be seven days, obviously, as you're placing more information, you can do it over a longer period. Clicking on all knowledge tests would actually um, show all the knowledge tests that have been allocated, so given, you know, a wide sort of over 12 months. Um, so it defaults to seven days and then you just change that as required. So this shows you um, the time that's been taken, um, the score. And if I just put the heat map on, again, you've sort of got your traffic light here. So this here might be a, a student to sort of have a look at, um, maybe go through the assessment. So it's sort of identifying students that are ready to, you know, move on to, um, say, Pink B books. Um, or actually they need more practice um, before they're ready to move on to their, their new readers. I can click into the quiz from here. Okay. Again, just giving you time taken, you can see that they all completed it, um, and the scores as well. And then you can click in here and go into their responses. Okay, reports history. So here is where you will see all the reports that you've generated. You can favourite them, so they'll sit in your favourite reports. Um, you will be able to download um, from here, and this is where you would print them off from. And you would find that useful. Um, the last thing on here is my sharing history. So if, for example, um, a book has been shared with a, a student or a group of students in error, this is where before with My Rising Stars, you have to go into each pupil and get delete that book. Now you can just do a blanket deletion. So you would sort of see what it would say the book. So, for example, it would say ants there. Um, I wanted to take that off. I've done that by mistake. Um, I would just click on the uh, bin. 
and then it will take that book off. So you can see that's a lot easier than it was before. I hope you're all still with me. And just the very last thing I wanted to show you was um, logging in as a pupil. Just to show you what the pupil dashboard looks like. It's a lot more child friendly. The child here can click on change character and there's a, a range of icons here that they can swap to. So people, animals, robots, and that updates for the tasks and the rewards. Clicking on my tasks. So we can see Amy um, has got a reading book, that's due 21st, and also she's got the band assessment quizzes, which you do as well. And then if I click on done, Amy completed the quiz on 12th of September. So, and then if we go onto rewards, so Amy has um, achieved one gold star, and also pupils do have um, access to IT support here. Again, so the same thing. So if they're with parents or they're stuck on anything, um, talks about reading planet, et cetera. And more will be put into here. I think there probably will be a, a parent section as well. Okay. That is everything from me.